So, so tell us your name. My name is Miguel Pedro. Miguel? Miguel, oh. like Michael. Right. And Pedro, like Peter. All right, good. And Miguel, you're from Lisbon, right? I'm from Lisbon. All right. And you I'm don't... half Portuguese, half German. Okay, half Portuguese and half Ger German. Half German. Half All right. German, on my mother's side. All right. Uh, so tell, tell us a little bit about your, your life here in Lisbon and what you've seen over the last, say, 10 years regarding the local Portuguese and expats and travelers. What are some of the things you've seen over the years? It's growing up. It's, uh, what can I say? Lisbon is growing up each day. Many tourists. Mm -hmm. uh, many new things in Lisbon, like restaurants and bars. Uh, Lisbon is completely different. Right. This is one side, I can tell you. Uh, about 10 years ago, there was some buildings here from the Navy. Mm. Now, you can see, it's it's a terminal for the ships right. and many bars here. Exactly. It's completely different. It's going, it's changing every day. So how was it when you were growing up? How was Portugal then? Completely different. <laughs> Completely different. Was it in a good way, bad way, or? I think it's a good way. I can say it's a good way. It was a good way. So I passed the revolution in '74. Okay. Okay. All right. It was complicated at that time. Right. But from now, from '74 to to the days we are today, I think it's going better, much better. Okay. We have more freedom. We don't have that time. It's completely different. I like it. What would what would you say were the biggest changes? In Lisbon? Yes. Many places. Like I said, this area, the downtown, the people, the 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 thinking way. The way of thinking. Yeah, so that, yeah. Can you expand on that a little bit more? The people are more open to new things, okay. to try new things. That's a good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, so from your perspective, how was it before? Just the opposite, I'm taking yeah, it. Yeah, it was completely right. the opposite. So how, yeah. did, how did you see it at that time when you saw that the opposite was occurring? It's different, how can I say? It's different, the people... 40 years ago, they they was closed. They don't talk, they don't get out too much. Right. Now it's completely different. The people want to get out, want to, to go to a restaurant, uh, to go to a bar. 40 years ago, that was more or less impossible to go. Right. So how, did, how do the local Portuguese um how do they perceive the expats and travelers that come into Portugal today? Some people don't like the tourists. Okay. And some people like it very much. <laughs> so, so why do some of them not like the tourists? <laughs> because of the um, the houses uh, in the this old neighborhood, mm -hmm. they put uh, the the booking houses and the the NB. Right. And um, for them was, um, how can I say, it was a, a big change to, to see people coming in and coming out of the apartment for them was very complicated and still is Okay. in the oldest neighborhood. Does any of it have to do with uh, the income level and, and things of that nature from a revenue perspective? Yeah, completely. Right. So the old people, the old people, they don't uh, follow the, the the new ideas we have now. Right. It's completely different. How about the young people? Have you seen anything change in the young people, the young Portuguese people here? Yes. What can I say? 
they get out more, they, they do things they don't have to do, like uh, arrange travels, uh, it's complicated, the night in Lisbon is complicated. Okay, so yeah. that's a good thing for the young people that they're getting out and getting exposed, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, right. This area here, mm -hmm. and at night, at Friday night and Saturday night, it's crazy here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very crazy. Yeah, so they like to party, I know that. They like to party yeah. very much. So, and so sometimes it's too much. <laughs> yeah, I know they like to go till early morning. I've, I've been down yeah. here at uh, 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning and they're still partying. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a disco we passed uh, a few minutes ago. Right. Sometimes at 10 o'clock they're coming out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> So what would you tell travelers and expats that are coming here um, to, to Portugal or to Lisbon specifically? What, what do you mean? What are some of the things that you would share with them about just, you know, the, the lifestyle of Lisbon and how to kind of integrate, what to expect when they come? What they can expect? Lisbon, Lisbon on, in Portugal has a good food, mm -hmm. has a marvelous seafood. We have many places you can visit to see the beauty of Lisbon mm -hmm. or outside Lisbon, including Porto. You have many, uh, many things you can do. It if you want to have fun, you can go to Lisbon, Bairro Alto, Cais do Sodré. It's two areas. It's completely full. You have many places to visit, like monuments. Right. Uh, uh, palace, uh, you have Sintra exactly. to visit, it's outside Lisbon, it's very nice. Right, right. So are there other sides to Lisbon? I, I've, I've had this conversation with other locals that mm -hmm. say there's another side to Lisbon and you brought out some of it talking about, I guess, some of the conservative side of how the older generation has been uh, yeah. before. Um, what else can you share about, you know, that conservative side or some of the things that still exist from, say, what was happening 30, 40 years ago? It was completely different. Uh, 30, 40 years ago, it was completely different. How can I mean? But do you still see that today? Do you still see some of the behaviors and the mindset? Uh, the, the minds, only from the old people. Right. The youngest has completely different uh, ideas. Completely. Okay. So do you feel like some of the young people are contributing to Portugal in a good way? I think so. I can say. Uh, of good. course. So I know that a lot of the young people are also getting out, as you said, to other countries because they're traveling, yeah. things of that nature. Um, yeah. How is Portugal, from your perspective, uh, uh, do, how is Portugal making sure that they keep some of the Portuguese people here with uh, some of the talent, skills, and education and knowledge that they have. Because I hear of a lot of them going abroad and, and staying abroad because they can't make a, a good living here. It's different. They want to try another things, mm -hmm. want to try to earn more money than in, in Portugal. Right. Because sometimes to earn money here is very difficult. Right. So do you see any of that changing in the near future? I hope so, for better, Yeah. because we have a lot of good students and many of them go outside uh, Portugal right. to look for a better life. Exactly. But it, it's good for them to come bring it back to Portugal, yeah. isn't it? Of course. Yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> so that, you know, Portugal can grow from that perspective and use the knowledge, skills, talents and education that they have. That's right. To make a better change here. Yeah. Yeah. We have some, we have some great Portuguese in the U.S. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. Yeah. So what do you say about a lot of the uh, graffiti? You know, Lisbon has a lot of graffiti. Um, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. When they see a, a, a wall painted, they a new painted. They imagine uh, you paint a wall uh, one color. They go and paint it with graffiti. That's horrible. Why the are they... graffiti doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Do you know why they're doing it? Are they? No, I don't know. 
Okay. Well, I, don't, I don't know what the reason they, they are uh, painting graffiti everywhere. Yeah, it's and terrible. is the government or the communities doing anything to try to... To uh, stop it? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, that's interesting. I know I, I see it a lot more, seems like, here in Lisbon, more so than other areas in Portugal. I'm sure they have it too. Yeah. But I don't see it as much as I do here in Lisbon. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Wow. wow. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, it's a difference between the art, you know, when they're doing a mural or something on a wall. That's yeah. one thing. When that's it's one art. thing, okay. And then some of the graffiti is something else. It tears down the community and makes it look, you know, when rather they, bad. When they're making a good painting for me, it's okay. Right, exactly. Now, when they, they are, like you see in front, mm -hmm. in the green wall, mm -hmm. what's that mean? It means nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I hear you. No, I'm right there with you. Well, I appreciate you taking the time and talking to our Globetrotters and myself. Okay, <laughs> it was a pleasure. Yeah, regarding uh, the lifestyle of, of uh, Portuguese here in Lisbon. I appreciate it. Thanks, Miguel. Uh, my pleasure.